Hello guys, this is developer dude and in the previous video we have written the HTML code for these this section but in this video we are going to design this section in the last video we have left here but we didn't design this one section now in this video we are going to design this section so let's just start and the color is 999 999 and 998 and 998 okay now selecting wait wait now we are going to select this one span and this class this one class so right here drop FA carrot right and uh, section 2 is 10 font size that is fine font size is fine there but color is not color is to be rgb and uh, 248 248 117 117 okay so just put it now we are going to now we are going to focus on the box one plus four box so we're going to just develop the box we design and just copy and paste the css on it rest of the three boxes so right code for this one it should be 34 pixels and uh, height should be 400 pixels 400 pixels control c let's check it out so we are designing box now Images that's why it's trying something hard for you. You can just do it. Command them. Wait. Current these rest of boxes so we don't get a mess, any mess there. Okay, control save and uh, control R. So here's just uh, one picture, nothing, no more mess. So control tab and height is 400 pixels. So overflow should be hidden. Overflow. And uh, overflow is hidden and position should be deleted because we will create our absolute position div in this so border radius should be border radius for the corners 8 pixels control save and uh, this, this is the border radius what works border radius and this is a div we will create we have already created in STL so we will design in absolute form so just refresh this page and here it is now we will focus on board box one tip if i was talking about the position should be absolute position absolute okay and background color background is to be linear gradient if you haven't seen so i will show you that what i'm creating transparent and uh, Black with hundred percent high twenty five percent and uh, display flex items align items will be flex and okay and uh, then we are giving it always position absolute, so bottom should be zero. How it would look? Okay. We are just designing, so don't think about how it is looking. It will look fine when it got completed. Do it span and oh my god, what happened? Do it span. Post trial and display. Color white, 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 one round is fine. 
Box one icon, right? Padding bottom, ten pixel. Margin top fifty pixel margin top fifty pixel and uh, margin bottom margin bottom one thirty pixels one thirty pixels and just to calculate the space between just to try to count the space between I'll say control R. Not looking like same as this one, just in our core. So, third margin. So, box size should be 300 pixels and 350, 350. And padding left, 15 pixels. Padding bottom, 15 pixels. And this one, high, 15 pixels. Image size should be 300 pixels. 350 pixels per Margin top should be 30 pixels. And here it is. Now it's looking so much. Same as this one. Just a bit bigger. Okay. No, okay, this is fine. Now remove the command and check it out. How this section is looking. Okay. So this is looking so much messy. To find it, so get back to the code and uh, change padding bottom to be 10 pixels. And uh, just to find content, it's this big one. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. What's happening? What's wrong with it? Let's change the size of box. So the box one is here. Okay. Change it to 255 and 300. Come to the images. 255 and 300. Save it. Okay, now this is fine. So let's change the padding, padding to the 5 pixels. Okay, now this is looking the same as this one section of Zomato size. We're doing. Come on. Okay, so this is looking like the same as the section, this one section. So that is it for today guys. In the next video, we will create this one section of the localities uh, section in another video. Subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed. Goodbye.